welcome to the channel everybody it's that time again time for our weekly crystal opening i figured right off the bat we'd start off by wrapping up these cavalier miles away crystals from last month's event because of course obviously we didn't do that in last week's crystal opening since we went ahead and did all the prims uh, so let's go ahead and get these out of the way and then we'll work our way through some of the other crystals that we got to open this week right off the bat here let's see if we can get anything good from these starting off with a couple five stars it is absolutely wonderful some sig levels into kate bishop there uh looks like we got a couple four stars as well but it doesn't look like we got anything beyond that um just a few extra shards for sure now I think we'll go ahead and get the daily Paragon Crystals out of the way. We got two weeks worth of them because I said I'd save last week's uh, and this week's up for the opening. So let's see if maybe we can get a new champ or some great materials out of this. Uh, obviously a uh, few materials there that doesn't hurt whatsoever. And no champions out of this, but we did form a tier 5 basic and three tier two alphas four tier two alphas so and a few more tier five class catalyst shards do not help but do not hurt whatsoever so we do have an assortment of a few smaller crystals here let's go ahead and just rip these out of the way um, obviously nothing major expected out of any of these but at the same time it's getting those shards Go ahead and get these ultimate crystals out of the way. We've got a few of those. Just three stars there. Could have been nice to have pulled a four star out of them, but no big deal. Got a full four star here. We're going to go ahead and grab that and then look and see. We were able to pull a four star nexus out of that prim opening that we did. So let's go ahead and get it out of the way. See if we get anybody that isn't max sig. But looks like we are max sig all the way. So um i think we're gonna go ahead and take wasp there just for the iso now we have a few different nexuses here but um i think we're gonna go ahead and save them towards the end uh right uh, right after we do the feature trying to see if we can't maybe uh finally dupe our wolverine we do have a couple champions over there that we are looking for but I think we'll go ahead and get these infernal nexuses out of the way. See if maybe we can't get a few more things going for that as well. Uh, so right off the bat here, we're looking at either tier 2 alpha catalysts, tier 5 basic fragments, or the tier or the 6 star 6 stones. And I think I'm going to go ahead and take the 6 stones. I am overloaded pretty well on the rest of those there. Um... I think on this one, we'll go ahead and take the six star shards. And for this one, I think we'll go ahead and take the six stone again. Thanks to our prim opening there, we do have 10 full three stars to open. So let's go ahead and just get those, get some of the uh, shards built up there. Maybe see if we uh, get anybody that isn't max sig, um, which I do see right off the bat there, uh, Spider-Man Supreme which i know is one of the few that we don't have max sigged so we got five full four stars here again just looking for max sigs on these but obviously sig levels into anybody we don't have max sig does help um i don't believe i have max sig on null and i'm not for sure on the rest correct on null uh, looks like we are max sig across the board on the rest of them. So that does help got two cab crystals here So let's go ahead and pop these see if maybe we can't get something good out of them and just two more three stars Okay, we've got several things left still to do But I think we're gonna go ahead and get the relics out of the way and then we'll get back to seeing if we can't add some new champions uh, Right now we're gonna start with the three star relics and it looks like we got two new ones on that the first one being a, a Spider-Man 2099, which is definitely one that I know a lot of people are looking for right now. He has some great abilities there. And then we also did pull the new Ghost Rider as well. Uh, looks like we're going to put some SIG levels into Hulkbuster, Sentinel, and Scarlet Witch there, which are also extremely helpful as well. 
as a matter of fact. And then we have three of the four-star relics as well. Still working towards getting another five-star relic here very soon. Uh, another two new, including the new, uh, including Wolverine as a four-star relic, which is extremely exciting. We also got Sentinel as a four-star for the first time, and we added SIG levels to our Storm there. Okay, we got three full five stars here. Let's go ahead and rip the band-aid off on those and see if we get anything. Uh, all dupes, but not a problem there. That's some extra six star shards for sure. So we ended up with six Paragon Crystals as well here. So I think we're going to go ahead and do those and then we will get over to the Nexuses. Then we'll finish off with the six star featured crystals just because I want to make sure that we have uh, how many of those we end up with here. Um, obviously any seven star would be wonderful out of this definitely not gonna shy away from any six stars uh, let's see what we can do so nothing new right off the bat I am seeing four four stars a five star and then we are gonna awaken our six star winter soldier there so no seven stars out of that but still um, did get one six star so I'm not gonna be shying away from that in any way shape or form and we definitely added to our shard count there normally we have a lot more nexuses than this but obviously uh, we are limiting our spending this month because we did so much with fourth of July so let's go ahead and just get these grandmaster nexuses out of the way um, obviously we're gonna go with the four star black cat there on the first one all max sig on those so let's go ahead and take blade for the ISO, I just ran myself out of skill ISO, so definitely could use those. Uh, same reason, going to go ahead and take Nick Fury there since it's all three stars. Um, all four stars on that one, which is a little better. I think we'll go ahead and take the Mutant ISO. I know I'm getting a little low on that right now. Uh, again, let's go ahead and take some Mutant ISO there. And we'll go ahead and take some more skill ISO for another blade. Okay, so we have four of the Cavalier Nexuses here. Honestly, any six star would make us happy out of this. So let's see if we can get one. Uh, starting off again with all three stars there. Uh, five star Nexus. I'll go ahead and take that. I think we're going to go ahead and go for the Mutant ISO one more time out of Iceman there. And looks like all four. Uh, two four stars and a three star out of there are nothing great to speak about but we'll go ahead and get some more iso built back up as well so let's go ahead and do this five star nexus see if uh, we can do better than the spider gwen there not that that would have been a bad pull whatsoever but never hurts to go with the nexus and giving us a choice there i definitely don't want cyclops <laughs> So it's going to come down to either Mysterio or Guillotine 2099. And I think we're going to go ahead and go with Mysterio there. Put some SIG levels into him. So it looks like in the process of things, we were able to pick up a couple extra crystals here. I'm just going to go ahead and do these to pick up some extra shards. Uh, get the four star out of the way. Nothing big there. Uh, Cersei maxed out. Another full five star here. We'll go ahead and pop that out of the way some sig levels into namor there not a bad thing whatsoever for some extra shards there now i did end up with one full six star that we were uh, that we picked up from another uh, event here so i'm gonna go ahead and super scrawl not bad definitely um a little throwback to secret invasion there uh plus some extra seven star shards so definitely happy about that we'll be pulling a new seven star very soon so we weren't able to get to enough for a, a, another full featured there, but we do have seven of those. I'm going to go ahead and finish up with those, but we have two full mythical nexuses down here. I'm going to go ahead and see what we get out of those just in case we get a max sig. Pretty much any six star would make us happy. Um, and six star Medusa makes me extremely happy. Absolutely love throwing some sig levels into her there. Uh, so on the second one here, we are looking all five stars. I think I'm going to go ahead and throw some sig levels into Jubilee there 
uh, partially for the ISO, but partially just to go ahead and get her closer to that max SIG. Uh, obviously, Man Thing would have been a choice to put cl a lot closer, uh, but it never hurts to go ahead and get you know, get everybody up into the, at least that SIG 100 range. So still not enough to add a an eighth featured six star here. Um, ideally, what we are looking for is the awakening on our six star Wolverine there, but we do have a couple left that we definitely could use to awaken, and we have not pulled future Ant-Man yet, and that is definitely one that I would like to add to the roster. Wolverine or future Ant-Man would be probably my top two choices out of these. Let's see if we can pull either one of them. Nothing new. But right off the bat here, before we even look to see what, what we finished up with, more SIG levels indicate Bishop. That's wonderful. Definitely working, uh, starting to work with her. More SIG levels into Cosmic Ghost Rider. That's actually, I believe, a max SIG at this point. If not, it'll put him really close. Some SIG levels into Shocker. Shout out to my boy Samurai there. I know how much he's hoping to pull him soon. And I hope that this is inspiration for him to do so. Doctor Strange and Thor Jane Foster, nothing spectacular there. But let's see. Red Skull and some more SIG levels into Cable. We are getting ridiculous on the amount of SIG levels we put into him. Kate Bishop up to 44. Cosmic Ghost Rider to 180. I knew he was getting really close, but... I will couldn't remember if we'd fully put him there or not. So guys, I mean, not bad for this week. We put two up to 180. Um, definitely getting that at Kate Bishop. Some more SIG levels into her is something I truly am happy to do. A few more seven star shards there to go ahead and get us that much closer to another seven star pull. We are going to be doing a push on... Uh, the shooting star event this week so we will definitely be pulling a new seven star soon and adding to our collection i don't know guys it felt like a great opening to me let me know what you guys think let me know if you guys pulled something you were looking for this week and we will continue to hunt that awakening on our six star wolverine next week We'll be finishing up our Paragon series this week, as well as starting our new account so that we can see how far we can get from now until the banquet event. Make sure you guys are checking in for the updates on that, and we'll also be starting a few new series as well. I want to thank everybody for all the subscriptions to the channel. Uh, we will be starting memberships very soon. I hope you guys look forward to that. I'll be having details on that very soon as well as several other things coming up. We just finished our Battlegrounds tournament last week at the end of the week. We got prizes coming out here in the next, uh, out tomorrow, as well as we will be doing an update so I can kind of show you guys how some of that went. And then we will be doing some adjustments so that not next season, but the season after, we can do yet another tournament. I hope more people reach out to me and are interested because we did have an amazing time on this first tournament. And I hope everybody is having a great week, some God-tier pulls, and I will see you guys back for the next one. Peace out.